Glory to God. It's yet another beautiful morning. Join me this morning as we want to talk about uh, protection of God. But let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Creation, call you God. <laughs> oh, it's your name. We worship your majesty. of God. Saint of God, wherever you are, just begin to wave your hands to heaven. Begin to wave your hands to heaven. Begin to thank him. Begin to say thank you, God. We glorify your name for this another day. Tell him thank you, Father, for the sleeping and for the waking up. Glorify his name. My God is alive. He is still waiting for those who are gratifying to show gratitude to him. Glorifying him is his food. Why not begin to use sweet words to thank and to worship him? Yes, worthy is his name. Yes, Father, I came this morning to bow to your name. Having known the power that you are releasing upon us every day in protecting and guiding us this morning i come with a message protection saint of god protection saint of god protection i will not teach protection without opening your eyes to what it means hallelujah sit tight and listen protection in a biblical sense refers to god's care guidance and defense of his people it is a central theme without the bible where god is often depicted as a refuge shield and rock that protects believers from harm danger and evil in the old testament god protection is often associated with his covenant relationship with Israel where he promises to defend and deliver them from their enemies you can read that and get that from Psalm 91 and Psalm 121 in the New Testament Jesus is seen as the ultimate protector and savior who gives his life to save humanity from sin and its consequences you can read that and get that clearer in john chapter number 10 verse 28 to 30 hebrew 13 5 to 6 biblical protection also encompasses spiritual protection from demons 
forces, demonic demons and demonic forces, and the evil ones. E.g. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. 1 Peter 5, verse 8. I will be picking that of Ephesians 6, verse 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against wickedness of the highest realm. God is always caring for his own and will do anything to protect us. Overall, the concept of protection in the Bible emphasizes God's loving care, sovereignty, and power to safeguard his people and accomplish his purpose. Saint of God, what God is doing there is to protect and to, and to sustain the purpose that you are created for. Have you given yourself to Jesus so that your purpose may be accomplished? Have you given yourself to the wrong person, to the wrong God, to what you shouldn't give yourself to? I give you, have you given yourself to what your body wants and thereby leave your spirit to languish in pain and shame? Have you given yourself to the wrong thing that is tormenting you? Have you given yourself to drug or to drinks that is tormenting you and causing you troubles? Have you given yourself troubles? Have you given yourself troubles? Finally, my brethren, let us read. I'm taking you straight to Ephesians 10. Ephesians 6. Let's be, let me take you, straight, take you to 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Say, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil the devil is not something you just treat anyhow is something that you need power to defeat that life you are living that is not befitting the challenges that is facing you is as a result of you not putting on the armor then how can you put on the armor you can but put on the armor through in the place of prayer in the place of listening and reading the word of god god is ready are you ready of course if he's ready he can only be protecting those who believe totally in him let me tell you this if you do not put on the armor of god by being in him as he will be in you you have exposed yourself to the principalities and powers the wickedness of highest order those people who are also looking for how to use you for spiritual purposes will come to invade you let me take you to the same Ephesians 6 verse 13 he said wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand the, the evil day and having done all to stand I'm going to 14 to stand stand therefore having your loins guard about the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness you cannot say you want protection but you are filled with evil you are toiling with evil you are sleeping and waking up with evil you must keep your body holy saint of god protection of god is the easiest thing he does every day for his mercy endure it forever i speak into your life as a prophet that today everything you're going to do you will prosper the hand of god will protect you there is no way you will fail there's no way you will fail there is no way you will fail for his hand is upon you one of the easiest way you can also lose the grace of protection is when you are afraid don't be afraid for our god is strong and able you have a strong and able god who is willing to be for you all through your life but when you fail to keep your body holy your body is not holy your behavior is not righteous you are not doing the right thing then be rest assured invasion is coming 
invasion is coming invasion is coming invasion will come and succeed when you have fear in your spirit uh, fish, uh, isaiah 41 10 says fear thou not for i am with thee be not be dismayed for i am your god i will threaten thee yea i will help thee yea i will uphold thee with the righteous hand of my righteousness today i declare and i decree let the grace come upon you to live in righteousness let the grace come upon you to live in holiness let the grace upon you defeat all the fear your father has not given you the spirit of fear but the spirit of boldness so that you may be bold enough to call him abba father therefore be ready stand on your feet now stand on your feet now because i want to prophesy into your life i want to prophesy into your life i don't know how your spirit and soul is prepared to take this prophecy because as it comes this morning it's coming with power and it's coming with authority say with me totally protected say it again totally protected say it one more time totally protected god speaking from exodus 12 13 the blood shall be a sign when i say the blood i will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you saint of god in the world today a lot of things are happening the only way you can be separated from those lots of things happening is by the blood therefore today by the blood of jesus you are separated from every evil of the day you are protected from every evil of the day you are protected from every evil of the day accidents will not find you sudden death will not find you shame cannot find you you are protected and shielded with the blood of jesus christ now lift your two hands to heaven in complete faith i prophesy by the blood of jesus christ you are protected by the blood of jesus christ you are purified by the blood of jesus you are healed by the blood of jesus you are fortified by the blood of jesus you are you are you are secured by the blood of jesus you are favored by the blood of jesus you are prosperous and by the blood of jesus you are victorious in the mighty name of jesus yes you are protected in jesus most wonderful name i have prayed amen i remain your prophet prophet youthful mekunye broadcasting from this part of the world lagos Ibejuleki, Lagos, Nigeria. Wherever you are listening to this voice note from, just know that God has remembered you. As you accept and take this prophecy with all faith, haha, you are protected. No any form of evil will come near your dwelling. You are protected. I know my God, and I know what He can do at all times. I wish you good day enjoy the rest of your day victoriously in the mighty name of jesus christ yes if you have not given yourself to jesus you may be having an obstacle give your life to jesus say this after me lord jesus i have discovered that you are my only way the truth and the life the lights and the everything that i want dear jesus I have decided today to give the whole of me to you lord jesus i have accepted you as my lord and personal savior for i know you were born i knew you walked like man and i knew you were shame beaten crucified i know you died on the cross i know yes you you were buried and i also knew that on the third day <laughs> you resurrected and right now seated with your father in heaven lord jesus all this i believe and that has made me to totally surrender to you thank you lord jesus for accepting me as your son or as your daughter wherever you are just know that with this confession you are now a new creature you are also protected look for a believing bible teaching church and go there 
tell the priest you will find there that you have been led to Christ by Reverend Prophet Yieldful from Nigeria. That will help the man of God be able to place you well but please don't just attend the church be a worker in the church find a way to serving god there then you will grow spiritually and begin to produce fruit you will yield in jesus name amen wherever you are join me say god is good say it one more time god is good say it another one god is good let us shout it proudly and loudly god is good hallelujah 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 god is good see you tomorrow bye bye